Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, part 8, I think, already? Um, yeah, sounds about right. Um, I've done nothing all, at all, to be honest. Uh, and I'm sorry, it took a little bit uh, longer than usual to uh, make a new video, but I've been rather busy at school and personal life, so hence, finally, a new part. Um, today we're gonna do the legs. These two bad boys right there. Um, the legs are a bit tricky. Because it's very, very easy to get a, a spiral loop or angons and triangles. So it gets a little bit tricky, but I'm pretty sure we can manage to pull through. So let's just um, let's just start. Well, let's first look at the actual leg, how they, or what they look like. Uh, this is a picture of it, obviously. Um, as you can see, it's rather complex because there are a shit ton of muscles in there. And things can get a little bit crazy. Um, so we're going to focus on the major muscle groups. Uh, that you can see, for example, when you, well, your own legs when you look in the mirror, uh, a couple of them are, are very visible, um, and a couple of, of them are often forgotten, which is actually a bad thing. For example, like this muscle here, it tends to be forgotten, even though it's a very defining muscle. It actually defines the shape of the leg very much, so it's actually very important. And you can see it starts here, goes all the way around, and it comes back here again at the uh, tibia or shin um, but for example like this one here we're not gonna do this one um, we're gonna focus on major ones this one which this one as well big one same here also pr pretty big one um, and these two uh, the hamstring and the calf the calf depends where you're from right um, so we're gonna focus on those mostly um, we're gonna do a new technique today, as in we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna mo uh, model the muscles separately, and then we're gonna attach everything together or combine everything all, and then bridge everything together to get the final shape. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this one right here uh, at first. This one, because it's actually really defining and it actually gives us the base to make the rest of the muscles. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna grab. This edge right there, because it starts around there, ish, roughly. Uh, this picture here isn't correct, so just don't look at it. I I just use it for the uh, shape and the width of the leg itself. So I'm gonna grab this edge here, this bad boy, this one, and I'm gonna extrude it all the way down here, and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees right there, ish, right, so ish. Make sure that it, it lines up in the other view as well, and it should end around here roughly so make sure that it's rotated yeah, I think I actually rotated the wrong way I <laughs> did and this direction this come there you go this direction like so yep looks fine right you can see that it doesn't uh, align perfectly yet so I'm gonna add a couple of edge loops in here just to make the shape so here and here just pull them and pull them to the side where they belong right there like so, right? Let's check it. It looks weird, I know, but that's the way it is. I'm actually gonna start molding them in the right direction where they should go. In this case, like this. So this should be a little more like there. So you can see here as well. Uh, this side here. It actually should go like this, but in this case, but this is the inside. Um, this should be something like this, for example. And the other one a little bit sticking out a little bit further, but for now I'm just gonna keep it like this. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. Okay. So let's focus on the major muscle groups. Um, we got one here, and one here, and one here at first. Actually, I'm gonna rotate this one so it actually follows the actual edge flow, which is around there. This one is fine, like so. Okay. So which one do you do first? doesn't really matter which one you, you do first it doesn't matter at all to be honest um, I tend to start with this one because we can actually extrude it from this muscle here we can extrude it all the way down so we might as well do that right so I'm gonna grab this uh, edge loop and we're gonna start here right uh, this one is actually not correct but for now let's just do it like this so it should be like this and then all the way make it a little bit bigger oh too big something like here maybe a little bit wider even Make sure you get aligning from the right view as well, so all the way up here, ish, ish, like so. And then you need to extrude it one more time until you get it to the actual V shape that it has, so it goes something like this here. So one, one more time, one more extrusion. 
and there. It's just it's just stop right here ish. In in between the other muscles. And it should be on the little bit towards here. Looks weird, I know, it's fine. It's fine. So then we get a big muscle here on the inside and that goes all the way around to the center of the leg itself, so it go it, it is it's this tear uh, tear shaped muscle right there. Um oh which we can use, we can actually use this this one right here to actually make that shape. Uh, just be careful because if you now extrude this one you get a triangle here. So be careful. Um so what we can do is I'm gonna extrude this one out a little bit for a second. A little bit and then one more time and then I'm gonna leave this face here. So we can we can work on just that muscle. It's a little bit easier to do this so this one goes all the way into the middle of the leg, right here ish. You can see here the shape as well a little bit but and we're gonna try to make that tear shaped muscle in there so this should be a little bit on the inside and this should be a little bit something like here like what the fuck is this <laughs> it will happen trust me it will happen so let's align this one a little bit more better this one as well a little bit towards the right and this one as well so these uh, these these faces still align roughly where they should be and then we're just gonna add this to first one here in the middle and let's shape it instantly so this one should be a little bit that maybe this one a little bit more here this one as well this should be all the way out, out there like so oh like so and then one more edge loop here so we can give it a little, little bit more shape a little bit more definition can lower this one actually a little bit, a little bit oh this one a little bit there and this one all the way up here a little bit higher same here like so and then this one will be used for the for the volume of the actual muscle so like this right this one a little awkward right there and you see you got the first big muscle pretty much done like so easy PC. Let's shape this one a little bit better actually. Something like this and something like this. Wasn't that hard, right? And then we can do the same thing here for the other for the other one. Uh, so we've got a muscle here. It's this one. Um this also has a tear shape. Actually it goes underneath this muscle here from, from the from the butt, from the uh, gluteus maximus. This one here. It actually goes underneath it, so it goes all the way around. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna focus uh, this this muscle itself also uh, get, have its own topology, so I use this line here. So we're just gonna make this small tear shape uh, plane again. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, just like we did the other one. So I'm gonna hit extrude, small extrusion, and then one more time. I'm gonna leave this face here for a second. So we, so we can focus just on this muscle, and then same thing here. So I'm gonna grab the edge. I'm gonna make it sure that it goes a little bit towards the inside if I can actually get it to work something like this it shouldn't go that far because it ends here so a little bit a uh, little bit to, to the left of the center something like this this one should be sticking out a little bit further though like, like this maybe and this one as well you can see that the volumes are not correct yet because this should be a little bit further out a lot further out actually something like this and again, same thing here. We're gonna make the simple uh, tear-shaped shape. So again, edge loops. So first one in the middle. It's a little bit easier to do it like this, in my opinion. But of course, if you have a different different method, it's fine. Like so, like this. Oh, not a new camera. Fuck. I keep adding new cameras. It's really annoying. Something like this, and then one more in the middle like so and again same thing here we're going to we're going to use the center vertex to create the actual volume of the muscle so like this maybe and these two to actually create the shape of the tier shape of that tier so this push one inside and this one a little bit higher like so okay should be higher so we get a nice shape in there this one as well this one should be lower check the right view check all the views make sure everything's correct 
looks fine. We can push this one even out further if you want to, something like this. It will just give the muscle a little, little, little bit more volume. Uh, just be careful that you don't overdo it, because it's very easy to, do, uh, to overdo it. Okay. So far, so good. Push this one a little bit in. This one as well. There you go. See, this is very extreme right now, but hey, for a moment, we're not that bothered about about it yet. So we just check it, see if everything looks okay. Everything looks pretty damn okay. So we can move on. Um. So we got the front front part pretty much done here. Um, you can use you can make this muscle as well if you want to, but it's, it starts from uh, here, goes all the way a little bit downwards, and creates this uh, this part here, creates this part here. You can do that if you want to, but I'm not going to do that actually. So what I'm going to do is hide everything. What I don't want to see. So Control H and Control H, Control H. So I can focus on this part here. So next up, I'm going to spread these out a little bit actually. This one should be a little bit back. Just a little bit of spreading up the edges, and then I'm gonna grab these two. I gotta pull it all the way down. All the way down. Towards the knee, so it ends right there. This is the part here, it goes all the way down here. It actually ends here, it goes in the front of it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna focus on this part here, but it ends right there. So make sure the front view check it. This is very wrong, so this should be here, roughly. And then we need to make sure that it all matches up so oops. who would have thought right oh not this one so I'm gonna add one here create that part there one in the middle as well so we're gonna use this to create that nice bulge in there see and then we get uh, one more uh, if you want to we do so I'll grab it here and post one even further there you go looks pretty fine as it is we can spread these out if you want to so it actually create the muscle a little bit better uh, or it's just shrink it in this case here I'm gonna shrink it down and shrink it like so perfect say so it's not that hard the leg isn't that complicated but you just need to be careful if it makes any sense so next up we can bridge everything together now, right now if you want to, so might as well do that right now. So it actually start looking like a well, leg. So I've got to make sure that this edge loop here, this edge here, follows the shape of these uh, two two tear shaped muscles. So a little bit like this. So you get this little bit more of a curvature in there. Same here. Got that they match up. Gonna lower this one actually, this one there. So they all line up ish roughly to their. Uh, muscles that they are neighboring so this one here let's bridge this and this now when I'm done you get something very weird I'll show you you get this massive gap in between right it doesn't look, that doesn't look that pretty but it's due to this one sticking out as you can see here because we, uh, when we're done we're gonna add a loop in between in, in the middle here which will pretty much fix it so for now I'm just gonna grab these two I'm gonna push them on the inside so it doesn't look that weird. So just grab these, push them in, and grab these and make them stick out. So I get this really nice muscle definition in the legs. There you go. It's way too wide at the moment, this strip here, but we can make it smaller in a little bit. So, okay. Those were two major muscle groups. In the front at least. Uh, so we got this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those four. Those are key. Um, the rest of the smaller muscles, uh, you can do it if you want to, but they're not really that, that important for the actual uh, deformations. So let's move on to the back for a second. Um, let's grab this one and flip it. Actually, I'm going to fix this right now. Because I'll just get annoyed by it if I don't fix it. So A little bit better. Okay. Go to object mode, let's grab it. So we we'll keep it very simple at the moment, which is kind of what I want to have. So I'm going to delete history because uh, if you add too much edge loops or too much stuff, you'll just get confused, and then you're like, I don't know what to do anymore, and then you start crying. And we don't want to have that. So let's not do this. So let's grab this one here. Let's move it to where it should be around here-ish. There you go. So 
we got it here right now. First thing I want to do is I want to gap this. I want to fill this gap between this one and this one, so we can actually create the uh, uh, well crotch area. So I'm gonna grab this one first. Got my few. I'm gonna extrude it a little bit further out, so it gets to here, and shrink it by a lot. Like so, let's move a little bit in, a little bit. Oh, rotate it the other way around. Like this. Well, I don't have to explain to you guys how a bot works, so hopefully, <laughs> let's bridge this. Oh, oh, this one, and uh, not this one. Sometimes my just annoys me, honestly. There you go. A scoop and make it round like this. So we get, so we actually have a crotch area. Uh, cool thing about this as well. Uh, it's actually really helpful that we did this. A couple of reasons uh, I'll show you, because we now can also extrude this part here. Just this one for for the moment, and we can actually extrude it so we can actually get the other shape there in as well. So it's actually really helpful. So it, it it does a couple of things. Adding this edge loop, it's just not there for shits and giggles, but it actually does uh, has a purpose, which is the whole point, right? So actually, this one a little bit too high, but move it up. Like so, we can actually extrude this one. Let's do it right now, actually. So this one here, uh, extrude down and to the right. There you go. So it just looks a little, little bit better. You should end up right here-ish. You should actually be attached to that for a bit later on. Okay. So this gives us a couple of benefits. A, when you look at the actual butt, you can see that it's just a giant muscle that starts here and goes all the way down here. Well, the ends here, but you can see it's a big ass muscle, no pun intended. So we, we kind of want to do the same thing right now, so I'm going to actually I'll fix this one real quick and let's grab this and put it on. So we can actually use this edge here, this one, to create that muscle. So I'm going to hit extrude and I'm going to put it all the way down and rotate it so it actually follows the actual edge flow like here. So it goes down like this, right? So you kind of want to have to follow that structure. And then you get a butt. Let's put it in, pull it in a little bit. That's what she said. And there you go. Then you can add a couple of more edge loops just for well the shape of it. So let's do it right now. So I'm gonna grab it here and give it the actual shape of a butt. Buttocks. So this one should be there, there. Can move on a little bit through this area here. It's actually the reason why I place these vertices at these points. Because when I add an a, a normal edge loop, the vertex here will actually fall in between these two muscles here. Which kind of what I want to have, so it actually has a, perf a, uh, a purpose. It's it's not done by accident or anything, so it has a purpose, right? So we can well the, now it's a massive flat butt, <laughs> as you can see. But then again, you can just add an edge loop here in between, and we actually will give you that uh, butt feel. Let's pull this one out a little bit. So it looks a little bit more like an actual butt, just a little bit, right? Let's do it, right? Let's just do it. Let's just make a butt. I'm gonna grab this, pull it out. This one as well. I'm gonna push these to the side a little bit so we can create a nice volume in there. This one as well. Actually, I'm gonna push these ones on the inside, so I'm gonna do it like this. And then you have a butt. See? So, yeah. That's pretty much how you make a butt. Not <laughs> it's not that difficult, but you get the point, right? Let's pause a little bit better, and then we can create these two muscles here in the back. Oh, the these two, right? Uh, this one actually goes back into uh, into the knee. Uh, it goes here, right? And then it actually goes on the outside. It ends up here. Uh, we're not gonna do that though. Uh, we're gonna just pull it down all the way down here, and we're gonna end it here. Uh, but keep in mind that this diamond shape uh, should be in there. Um, so I'm gonna grab these two edges here for a moment, these two, and hit extrude. Right there. So we can actually get to that uh, point in of the body and then we're gonna do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna grab these and push them out. And then we can extrude it one more time, but then separately so we can actually create a diamond shape. 
in there so like this maybe same here and done oh wrong way this way there you go right it's looking pretty okay let's pull this a little bit out a little bit like so and check looking pretty damn okay let's fix some couple of uh, vertices uh, like these ones they should be a little bit further on the inside they should be a little bit more to the right like so same here same here ideally but for now it's just to keep like that see so then you can actually see that it actually starts looking like a leg and uh, it should be a little bit further on the inside but uh, okay check we can add more edge loops here if you want to well we, sh we should at some point but for now let's just uh, let's just keep uh, keep on going let's check here then you can see here the end here again at, at the knee area so i'm going to do it as well and then i'm going to focus on the knee a little bit let's see how far i still need to go actually i'm already there i am there okay sweet easy peasy so let's focus a little bit on the knee because it's a little bit tricky right so let's, let's just this one around unas unas let's move it where it should be right there ish there there you go still looking okay let's check the knee okay the knee is a little bit uh, tricky um, again like I said with the fingers you need three edge loops to create a proper de deformation rings so to speak right but the knee has a bunch more so you're very tempted to add more but this is also the part where it's very easy to add spirals and I kind of don't want to do that so I'm gonna be a little bit more careful about that one so I'm gonna grab these two th these three of them and I hit extrude to the center of the knee which is here ish I fix the shape straight away otherwise it will get weird so this should be sticking out and this one should be the on the inside so like this and same here can grab these edges and check the right view this looks painful but this is actually correct so it should be here I don't dare then I'm gonna grab these two I'm gonna pull them a little bit more on the inside so this one as well I think yep a little bit more so I get this nice square almost squarish object which is fine but they should actually be a little bit wider so this one should be like here this one like here so you get this nice um, almost flat area which is perfect then you can do one more extrude these two again till you get to the actual uh, tibia or shin which is what sounds right here so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm just gonna forget about it for a moment and then I'm gonna make sure that these two align again oh let's actually check right view right and make sure that these align again roughly same like this so this one is sticking out you can see it here a little bit better then you get this small smallish curve in there even a little, little bit less like this uh, this helps you a little bit with uh, with the uh, making of the actual tibia so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna move on let's uh, do this part here first so I'm gonna grab this edge here I'm gonna hit extrude I want to I want to make sure that I create an actual loop at the moment and not a spiral because it's very very easy to do it like that right now so I'm gonna hit extrude make sure that I go all the way around and actually create the uh, knee cavity a little bit further and one more time oh Oh god, what did I do? Doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure that it's so I'm gonna hit here all the way there. It's fine. Actually, let's move this one in. Like so. Let's just be lazy for a second and just hit bridge. Bridge. Just make sure that the I cut here three edge loops or three uh, edges. Make sure that there are three here as well, otherwise you'll get into some trouble later on. So make sure that there are the same amount of uh, vertices on each side. Just a simple trick and, and tip. 
make sure you do that otherwise it will get very weird very fast then you just start shaping it a little bit better to what it should look like something like this maybe and it should be same here I'm gonna add it's still in between right there I can give it a little bit more shape like so maybe done so now I, oh, I know at least for sure that, that uh, this part here will have an edge loop and not a uh, spiral just for my own sanity sake so I just tend to do this a lot because uh, fixing spirals can be dumb it's just really 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 annoying uh, so hence <laughs> I just rather be safe than, than sorry right so the knee part here so we can actually start st uh, stitching things together like this one this muscle again it should technically end up here right behind this muscle and then goes into the knee so this is the muscle and then it sh actually should go something like this which can be done of course I mean that's not that much of a problem but first we need to make sure that this part here can be attached so as you can manage we need more edge loops as usual nothing new yeah. so we need one here at least in the middle right there so we can bridge these two together like so and then we can if we want to we can do this one and this one which is fine because this then still creates actually a really nice edge loop then you can use this one to that one <coughs> that's good and then we can of course just bridge these two together by adding a, a extra edge loop which will look fine as it is so I will do that later on so first thing here is bounce I'm gonna add one more edge loop here in the middle right there ish and then make sure that we bridge these two together bridge and now you can see it actually started looking like a leg so we're, we're getting somewhere right let's bridge these two together first bridge so I know where to bridge and what not to do then, then things get a little bit more hairy, right? So you can see here, we got a lot of edge loops here that all need to go somewhere. Um, so we first need to fix up, fix up this part here before we can, before we can move on. What I might do first though is I might actually, yeah, this part here, I'm gonna shrink it by a lot. I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna bridge it to this point for a second. Just hit bridge, done. So for, from the back side we know where it should end, where this should end. Just a little bit simpler doing like this. So you know, okay, this part here should go there. Let's fix this part here in the middle. This should be a little bit like lower on the inside. This part here as well. Like so. So, <coughs> so they actually create this V-shape again. Then it, it, it's almost almost aligned with this edge loop here. So this is much better as well. Then we need to add more edge loops here, but we'll get to that. Okay, looks good. Looks pretty solid. Let's shape it a little bit better. Actually, what I might do though is I might bridge this here for a second so you can see what it looked like. This part here, and then bridge these together. There you can see that you get a really nice muscle. It's a bit too much, a bit too sharp at the moment because these uh, these two are too extreme. You can see here, right? But this one should be a little bit more like so. They get this nice muscle in there and it still looks weird because this part here hasn't been bridged so I might well do that well as well then you can see this and like that's a nice muscle that's a nice muscle so let's push a little bit further uh, this one I think like so a little bit too much Jesus too much there you go see nice nice now it can fix a little bit of a puzzle, so you need to think ahead. So we need to attach this vertex to something at some point, right? So we might as well add a uh, edge loop here, cause, because we're going to need it. But then we have an extra vertex here, right? So make sure that this part here also has a bridge and don't merge these two together because you'll get into trouble. So think about how plan your topology, I'd almost say. It sounds a bit weird, but it's actually really, really necessary and actually really difficult. Because this is the part where you can fuck up badly. And you don't want to do that, I suppose. So let's get a little bit more this part, a little bit more shape. So let's do one more here. So there you go. This looks a lot better now. You can see it actually started looking like a nice looking leg, even though it sounds very, very weird. But okay, 
let's um, move on to this part here. So I might as well flip it. Actually, see we can bridge some more stuff. This part should be a little bit like here. So we can, we can bridge this to that part here later on. Let's freeze one thing up. Um, oh, crap. Should be right there. So this part here, we'll bridge this part here. So don't touch it. But then we do this part to that one, I think. That, looks, that will work out fine, it does. Then this part to this part, but then we're stuck. Right, so we need two more ice loops here. Then this part is pretty damn dense, so be careful. So there you go. There you go. And oh, crap, crap, crap. There you go. Nice. Looking pretty good so far. Let's check the right view for a second because this needs to be shaped a little bit better. Right now it's just a nice straight line, but muscles don't work that way, so let's give it a little bit more shape. It actually, little, it has a little bit of curvature in there, so it actually looks cool. Sweet. Okay, this will match up. Oh, I like, like that actually. This one will match up with this one. How oh, this? Oh, sorry. This vertex will line up with this one, so we actually get a nice strip there as well. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Let's move on towards the back. Back side again. I'm gonna do this part here later on, so okay. Let's uh, flip this one around again one more time. So minus one on X and minus one on Z. Delete history once in a while. Make sure to do that. Um, if you don't delete history, things can get really nasty really quickly. Uh, I've had several occasions. Well, I've seen several occasions where the mesh just disappeared, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. So you're pretty much fucked. So keep in mind that you delete your history often really often see for play well I don't I don't care what you do but make sure that that, that you don't f don't fall for it because you would be the first one who would lose everything because they didn't save or they didn't read history okay let's do this part here um I'm gonna add two S loops here or Y2 for a simple reason that we can actually then bridge so we can bridge this part to this one and then we can do this one here. I'll show you. Right, then you can bridge this part here. If you didn't, then, then you would have a triangle here, which will cause some difficulties at some point. So this is a little bit easier to do like this. It's also a little bit prettier, in my opinion, at least. Then, so then fix the shape straight away. So a little bit on the ends, a little bit towards the right. Same here. Might as well do this one here as well. Same method. Oh. So make sure that it actually has a curve in it, right? So it actually flows. So it's nice and curvy, like an actual body is. Uh, if you don't, then things will look look blocky. You know, it would just it would just look off. Here. Like yeah, something's wrong with it. I don't know what, but it just looks off. So same thing here. I'm gonna add two here as well for this one. So again, two edge loops. One here ish and one there ish. Same method, fix it, fix it straight away. Otherwise, you might forget about it, which will be annoying. So, don't. Okay. Same here. Bridge these two together. Bridge. Again, so we can just bridge this part together. Make sure that the flow again is nice and smooth. So not like this. So like this maybe. Don't look better. I mean, you can add ice loops here to actually fill up these parts here. So. Nothing is lost. Let's check the side views as well. Might as well fix everything, right? Uh -huh. While we're at it, there you go. Check, 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 check. Looking pretty damn a okay. Nothing weird is happening, so I might as well fill the gaps right now. So I'm gonna add one here, edge loop here, so you can bridge this together, this part here as well. That lines up perfectly. 
sometimes you just need a little bit of luck. Uh, and then again, I should be careful here. Don't want to create a triangle. Then you can bridge this. Oh, not like that. This one and this one. We just fill the hole. Not to worry about that one. Same here. And bridge. Fill hole. Fill hole. There you go. This looks weird, I know. But it's fine. It's fine for now. Because this th this will actually create a uh, quad at some point. Trust me on that one. Okay. Looks good. Looks fine. We're gonna fill up the, the rest of the holes in a bit once once we're done with the rest of them. Because we're gonna uh, we're going to need more extra at some point, so we might as well do it later. Uh, otherwise, we'll just get uh, confused by everything else. So, let's go object mode again one more time. Let's just flip, flip it. Grab it. Check, check. Let's move on with the uh, tibia. Uh, you can see, I actually can't see it here, but it actually goes like here. Down, down the middle. I, I, I mean, I'm pretty quite sure that you guys know what it looks like, since you all, all have one. I hope so. Extrude again these three edges there, one from the knee, and just hit it all the way down there. It ends around, around, I suppose here. There you go. I'll re edit. Actually, I might fix these as well. So I'm going to check my material. I'm just going to lower the opacity. See, then you, ca then you can see here. Need at least one more edge loop here to create the actual nice shape in there. So, but it's also I think this one here. Yep. So we need here one more edge loop to create that uh, this gap here. Same here actually. This one should be a little bit wider, a little bit higher. So we kind of need more edge loop anyway. So I'm gonna lower this one a little bit. I think if we're lucky, can we have one? Perfect. We might as well fix it right now, right? All red. Oh crap! Make sure it's good. The right ones. Actually, perfect here as well, so it adds even more to the um, to the legs, so it can create even more volume, which is perfect. And again, you just start tweaking and polishing and polishing. That's all we're doing. Welcome to Freedom Mulling, right? <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Perspective. This part here looks really weird, though. Ah, that's why. Mm-hmm. A little bit more that way. Same here. Check check. A little bit lower maybe. Okay. I'm gonna leave it for now. There you go. Okay, so this part here, we're gonna make sure it's a little bit smaller, so shrink it. I'm gonna make sure that the spreading of the vertices is a little bit more even, so I'm gonna shrink, uh, shrink this one as well, so it's a little bit more the faces are roughly the same size, doesn't have to be perfect though, but roughly the same size. Make sure on the right view as well, see this looks really bad, so I'm gonna hit mesh, hit average vertices. Oh, we do that, see, go okay, goes there. Move it, and now it's roughly on one line. A little bit trick, little bit trick, but works really well. So it ends here, roughly. Then you can move on to the calves, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I just made this, so we know where it's 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 going to end. And put it that way. Like that. Again, we're going to flip it. We keep on flipping it. Okay. 
Check, check. Okay. D should be a little bit lower. Twenty coughs. Start doesn't have to be perfect again, but something like here maybe. Make sure there's a little bit fluidity to it. There you go. Then we can start making the caps, coughs, depending where you're coming from, I suppose. Um, but you can see here. They start here and they go all the way down here and they end roughly around the center or the middle point of the uh, of the lower leg. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect though, but roughly, right, roughly. But then again, which vertices will be used, right? So this is a little bit more uh, inconvenient because this takes a little bit more of planning. So which, where will it end and how are we going to do this? Let's actually fix these as well, a little bit like that. The easiest way would just be grabbing these two, right? That would be the easiest web method. When you look at it where they are, in the side view as well, they are here. But you can see the caps, they actually go all the way here. They start here-ish, right? This one doesn't do that, so we actually need this one here as well. For just what for the the cough in the, the inside, whatever it's called. I'm gonna hit extrude again. Just grab it down to where they end roughly here and start shaping it so this one should be here for example this one here here and here check the right view or a view this looks fine it should be here ish a little bit more like that maybe something like this right so let's grab it maybe put them a little bit out towards this edge something like this maybe then an edge loop And start shaping it. Maybe even one more. This one should be a little bit more here-ish. Yeah. You can, uh, if the volumes are off, it's fine. We don't care at the moment. We just want to make sure that we have the, the vertices in place. So we can actually shape it, right? So, same here for the other one. Um, you can see it here. It also goes all the way around. So if we have to do the same method here. So make sure that I think it's something like well, let's grab first something like uh, check it. This one we start here, that one, and then we grab this one and these two in this case because we have more loops here. Same again. Just grab it, start shaping it to where they belong. So this one should be here, there ish. This one looks a little bit more off because um, of the shape. You can see it here. This one's actually a little bit more tricky. Just grab them all and push them outside push them to the outer side here ish and again you can add, start adding edge loops for the definition so first one here maybe oh there oh this one here make sure that these two align roughly where they should Again, one more loop. This one there. It looks weird, I know. It's fine because this part here is just a little bit weird as it is. So, what we're gonna do when we have this? Well, we have this. We're gonna flip it. <laughs> So we can check in the other, in the other views where it should be uh, where it should be at. There you go. Okay. Right view. We see the cards itself. They are really, really, really wrong as it is. So I'm gonna grab them just again, just roughly at first. Though, just want to get this stuff in there where it, where it belongs. Nothing more. This one should be here, for example, all the way out. I 
think that she did one too many edges for this one. I still got that impression. Uh, no, fine, should be fine. And let's start giving a little bit more volume. So they actually look like muscles instead of some flat thingy matrix. Uh-huh. Uh, looking good. Starting to get there. Same here, I'm just gonna grab these two edges. Fuck it. And pull it out. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, bring everything back together, so... Oh, let's fix this first, actually. I'll just, uh, I'll just get annoyed by it, so I might as well do it right now. There you go. Right, so I'm gonna bridge this to this with the, the cost to the uh, tibia. Um, first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna add one more edge loop around here. I know it's it, it's very tempting to bridge this all the way down here, uh, but you shouldn't, because the calves end up here, right? Not actually at, at the uh, at the foot itself, not at the Achilles heel. So make sure that you don't do that. Uh, otherwise, it will look weird. Okay, then you can start bridging things together again. Uh, so we need a couple more edge loops, as usual. A bunch more actually, so we have this one here, then we have well, this one and this one, so we need two more. So one here ish, one there ish. Shape it, don't forget to shape it. There. Right now the tip is really flat actually. It's also incorrect. So I'm gonna fix it really quickly. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. So let's move these. Again, I'm just I'm just, just gonna space out the faces a little bit better. Um, again, in an ideal mesh, in an ideal world, the faces would all have the same size. Then again, if you could do that, then you're really fucking awesome. And then I would buy you a beer, honestly, because it, it is it is just that difficult. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, but it's something to keep in mind for for when you, for example, are going to sculpt uh, an object that you try to uh, have faces all the same size. Ideally, right? Ideally. Gonna leave this one for now. Gonna move on to this side. Oh crap! I suck at bridging. Oh Jesus! Wow can do it. There you go. Check, 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 check. Looks good. They actually look like calves, calves. Now on both sides we have one uh, edge loop to spare. It's perfect because we need this one to push it inside so we actually get this really nice shape of it. So it's the second one we're going to do. So I'm going to add one more edge loop on each side. So one here and one there. And they're needed. Oh, ooh, lucky. So we can do something like this, right? So you actually can see that there is a calf. Perfect. Bridge. There you go. Check it, it looks a bit off right now, I know. Because the shaping is a little bit off, you can see here. In the side view, or in the front view. This should be all the way up there. This should be a little bit here, for example. Uh, we need to fix the shape. Might as well do it now, so this one should be here. It's a little bit lower, maybe this one a little bit higher. And just stop polishing it. It should look a little bit better, it does. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh, it should be here, let's grab this one actually. I'm gonna add one edge loop here in the middle, right here. 
So it's a little bit, he should give the knee a little bit more shape because it should be here, right? So you actually have a knee shape. There, this one should be here. Yep. A little bit more slow here. Just polishing it a little bit better. There you go. So now I actually get this more of a knee thingy in there. It looks a little bit better though. The, the calves are still not perfect though, but it might take a while to fix them, so I'm just gonna leave them for now. I'll just uh, I'll just do this do that after this video. I'll just fix them then. Right. So we got the basics in there right now. Now we need to fill start filling everything up. I fill all the holes and give them a little bit more of an S shape. Um, so let's start at the front. I'm gonna add a scoop here because we can actually use it really well on this part here. So I add it straight away and bridge. Check it every time. See if it's still perfect. It is. So oh crap, Jesus! Richard, this should be fixed, as you can see. Otherwise it will look really weird. There you go. Okay, now this gets a little bit, a bit more annoying. We can bridge this, of course. I mean, we have to, but then you get a giant face, right? It's a little bit, uh, it's not perfect though. It's not that bad, don't get me wrong, but it's just not perfect. And uh, I mean, that is what we're aiming for, right? Perfection, so. At least I am. Uh, this one here. Oh, this one here. Should be stay a little bit more out there. Just gonna fix these real quickly. Do I have a vertex here? Yes, I do. A little bit more shaping, a little bit more tweaking. Or vertex massaging. Go. Okay, we need one more here as well. Bridge it. Done. Again, we can just merge these two together. So I'm going to hit target belt. This one there. This one to that one. Of course, we're gonna add more isolates in between, but for now, it's a little bit easier to do it like this. Okay. Um, need more loops in the middle here. So we can do this bridge. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See, there you can see this very sharp line up here. That's perfect. That's exactly what you wanna have for this muscle here. Uh, it's. it's uh, I, I, I'm almost too scared to say, but this is uh, really, really nice. <laughs> this is what I hope for. So, well done, if I say so myself. So, this one to that one. Bridge it. Then, we need more, more edge loops here, as you can see here. So, we can bridge this one to that one, it's fine. Or not. Uh, this one to that one. Right, but then we actually. Oh, actually. Huh. This is a quad, right? Yeah, this quad, nice. Ah, uh, easy, right? Meant I meant to do that, right? So, <clears throat> a little bit lucky, but hey, I don't, uh, I don't really like it. Though this face is really big, but for now, we can polish that always. Because we need more edge loops here anyway. So, you can see, because this face should be all around here. So we need one more down the middle. Let's see what happens then. Actually, that's not bad. It's actually really nice. So we can bridge this and that, like so. I want two, three, four. That will leave a quad. That's perfect. You want more SOP as well, but this one li probably a little bit more tricky. Actually, it's not. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently though. So I'm gonna hit my uh, fill this hole real quickly because I'm scared that if I were to do this right now, it would just go all the way around here uh, down down the middle see here all the way around there 
I kind of don't want to do it just yet. Still needs a lot of tricking though. You can see here, this looks really, really, really scary actually. Um, this looks really scary. Probably because these need to be a little bit more on the inside, a little bit more towards there, the crotch. Yeah, definitely. This one as well, I suppose. Now things get a little bit more tricky. Much better, much better, much better. Still, of course, we can still grab these. I'll grab them and push them a little bit toward. So it's not that big of a gap, but still the muscle here is, is visible, so nice. It's not perfect, but it's close enough for a moment. Actually, I'm going to do this one differently. I'm going to cut this one here. This is a quad. It's kind of what I have, but then we can delete this edge here, which is fine. So we then create a line here down the middle. Because these faces, these faces here are really big. I don't want to have that, so let's push it all the way down. And then add a cut here. Save. See, this is nice. Then we can also use this one again. This edge loop. This edge. If I can actually get it to work sometime, would be nice. Thank you. Push on a little bit out, a little bit towards the inside. Then you get this this gap. It's a little bit more filled. Sweet. Then we can move on to this part here, on the inside. But this is this is easy, right? So we can just bridge this. Done. And this one to that one done, and this big one to this big one. There you go. Again, we need a lot more ice here, though. Why won't you work? Thank you. There you go. Because some really fucked up stuff here, <laughs> like this edge, but, uh, but I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, Afterwards, because that one needs a little bit of polishing. So, okay, let's, let's do the part right now. Um, it's actually not that difficult. I'm just gonna hit fill hole, right? I'm gonna use this cut tool. Cut it right here. Same here. I'm gonna cut it across. Then I'm gonna grab this one all the way there, and then you get a cut here, which is fine. And this part here is fixed as well, which you can actually use to push inside, so you can actually create a knee cavity. So we can grab these faces here, for example. Why won't you move? Jesus. Annoying. Then can I grab this here? And then get this knee cavity, right? Which is really nice, but you won't have anyway, so. Okay. I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier. I'm just gonna push this first. And then again, I'm gonna fill a hole. Just like the last time, but then we have two edges here, which is really nice because you won't have that anyway. To make sure that everything is still quad, and you can actually keep this one going, so they actually reach the um, Achilles heel. So it's actually a little, little bit lucky, but we kind of need them. So I'm going to hit the inside tool twice. Yeah, there you get this. Now this will be a really fucked up line, it will be extremely harsh as you can see, so we just need to make sure that you just grab these vertices, grab them and move them. Just uh, space them out a little bit better, a little bit better. then it should be fine. This one again as well, just space it out. You can also use them together for the creation of, of, of the volume, so it's, it's pretty much of a win-win situation. Which is perfect. I like those. Same here, spread these out as well. The, the, the freshly created uh, lines. See, then this looks way better. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, then we need to do this stuff here. So, what I kind of want to do is I just want to weld this one to this one, right? This vertex here to this vertex there. But then we have a little bit more edge loops here, or vertices, I should say. So, we also, we also need an edge loop for those, all of those, right? So, it then things get a little bit more complicated again. Uh, what we can do, of course, uh, well, if it just were to do it right now with an edge loop, I'll show what happens. Just gonna hit insert edge loop, it just goes here why it won't go any further than that i don't know but uh, not because of that you can see this just gets becomes a giant mess right it goes it goes fucking haywire so i don't want that um so i'm gonna do this manually oh i have to do this manually i don't have much that much choice so what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna just be lazy i'm gonna grab this one here and just gonna weld it to this one straight away so i know okay this one should go there so i know that already then we need a couple more edge loops in, in the bot itself, but we'll do that later on. Um, so, we need to make some cuts. Four cuts to be precise, but that's not doable. Well, it's doable, but that's just really, really, really annoying. So we need to do something a bit different. So first thing I'm doing, I'm just going to start cutting all the way around where the edge loops should be. So here, and then here. I'm gonna stop here, right there. I'm, I'm just gonna stop. I can do this if I want to, but actually we might do that. Right, so that that's one. So we can now merge this one together. Sorry, Kabel. That one to that one. Oh, wrong one. That one to that one. Now, right here there's a triangle, so we need to fix that. In this case, we can add an S two. See. It should stop there, but it doesn't. Um, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna do this, do this manually again. So first thing I'm gonna remove this vertex. I'm gonna use this one here. If I can actually select this sometime today, would be helpful. Thank you. So just cut on the outside this time, and just keep on going. And then you can see there's a spiral so we kind of don't want to have this, I'm going to just hit delete for this one I'm gonna oh crap, I'm gonna grab this one here and just put it there so this is now also quad, so everything is fine everything is a-okay right, so then we can merge this one target belt, the vertex to the vertex then we still have two left, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Again, <laughs> no pun intended. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Of course, we can do it like this. We just can actually can create something very dirty here. We can just grab these vertices, uh, these edges here. Just hit fill hole. This is dirty, but it works. Just make sure that you fix this nasty stuff here so what you can do I'll show you again another trick so I'm gonna grab these these faces here all these four I'm gonna hold control again right click and to vertices to vertices this one I'm gonna hit the mesh and average vertices so Maya will actually smooth them out for me see because of course these lines here are fucked up but that's something we can fix quite easily so just move them again And use these uh, vertices that we just made to actually create a little bit more of the shape of the ass or the glutinous maximus. What's of its official name? And I bet this is the, f the first time you actually give a thought about what an ass looks like. Something different. Yeah. There you go. Looks pretty okay. Let's move on. Let's bridge these two together. There you go. That's good. Now what? How are we gonna solve this one here? We can bridge this. Well, you can bridge this, but you don't want that, right? It's dirty. See? So, we pretty much need an edge loop. Here. 
which you don't have. What we can do as well, which is I'm gonna hit delete these faces, then we need an edge loop here. But we're going to need an edge loop regardless, right? Because this edge, this vertex here needs to go somewhere. So we check here, it should go long, something like this. But if we add, <coughs> if we add a edge loop here, it will go all the way down. I kind of don't want that. I don't like it. Uh, so we need to do it manually again. I'm gonna start well here ish to there. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop for now. Then I can weld things together again, or I could just grab it like this vertex here. I can bridge these two edges. This is fine. It's still not perfect, but this is fine. Right, let's move it actually. But then we still have this problem here. This is a little bit more annoying. Uh, so let's fill this hole real, real quick. Ideally, we need another edge loop here, which is fine. Um, as long as we can end it somewhere, but we can. We could just grab this one here and do it like that. This is not perfect at all because this is a giant spiral thing. So let's see where it ends up. Just for and giggles. Uh, could be worse, I suppose. <laughs> it's not disgustingly bad, it's just bad, but okay. So he has legs right now. Uh, far from perfect, because we, st we still need to do a lot of tweaking though, but I'm gonna delete these faces for a second. Grab the edges here. Hit extrude. Where the calf ends, I'm gonna shrink the wall down Even further. There you go. And then our hero has legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tweak it like hell because it st still needs a lot of polishing. Polishing, as you can see, this is dirty. Yes, actually, I don't like this. Um, but it's something I'll just do outside this video because it might take me a while. So. Um, Especially this part here, nasty. Uh, next pop, next video will be about the foot. Uh, be warned, the foot is a bitch to model, uh, just like the leg as you as you just saw. <laughs> so um, we'll do that next time. Um, so I hope I'll see you again next time soon, hopefully.